What's up guys, welcome back to another video with the Math Maker. My name is Yuen and today we'll be talking about analog clocks. So also I also forgot to say that analog clocks, um, like I said, they're constantly moving. Usually you have to use an energy source like a battery. Um, but today I'll be telling you how to read an analog clock. I went and gone and get a actual clock so I could show you guys. Cause like I said, not too many people remember or know how to read a type of clock like this, because it's not really not that people don't teach it. It's just that it's not really remembered, especially like how everybody has cell phones and stuff like that. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to read this. My weight measurement, my weight measurement video. Um, the reason, not the wait, my time measurement video, the reason why it is not right now, the reason why my time measurement video right now isn't out is because it had a sound problem. I have to repost that video whenever I can remake it again. So that's one of the main reasons because I know I explained something in my time measurement video um, that I also referred to in my last analog clock video. So this is how you can kind of read it. As you can see, this big red hand that keeps on going tick, 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 tick. That is the second hand. So yeah, the second hand that's constantly going one, two, three, four, five. And that's how you can count your seconds. Like I said, the long, the other long hand is the minute hand. So you have this one that's pointing to the eight. That's the minute hand. And then you have the one that's pointing to the six, or kind of close to the six. That's the hour hand. The hour hand's always shorter. So every time this red minute second hand goes around and hits the 12, the minute hand will just move by a little. Like as you can see up here, every single num every single one from tw number from one to 12 ha is counted by tens. Now, if you look closely, you'll you be able to see how the eight moves. How the hand right next to the eight moves. All right, so it minorly moved. So this is how you can tell it. The hour hand. So whatever the hour hand is, that would be your time. So if it's right here and it's pointing to the six, it's six. If it's right here... And almost pointing to the 7, but not hitting the 7 directly, it's still 6 o'clock. And that's what also trips up a lot of people. So they would think, um, uh, just because it's right next to the 7, that it is 7. It has to be on or across the dot for it to be that number. So then you have right here, um, you would have 6... So then it's close to six. So right now, I'm able to tell it's six. So that's for an hour. So right now it's six. And then if we look at it a little more, it's going to be six. So um, 643 around. So like I said, on up here, usually your clocks will have little, sometimes your clocks will have little nicks. One, two, 12. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that's how all of them would go. Not this one, though. Um, I didn't get, I couldn't find a clock in my house that had in, any of those. So then, um, I just found this one. But this one it has the dots and, um, of course, the numbers. It's not in Roman numeral, which is actually kind of a relief because... Um, if it was in Roman numeral, then um, some people, not a lot of people know how to read that. So then, when you're doing this, you would have, um, so whatever the minute is, if it's on the 8, if it's on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12, it's, count, it's counted by 5. So by 1, 5, 2, 10, 3, 15, 4, 25, 25, 6, 30, 7, 35, 8, 4, 8, 40, 9, 45, 10, 50, 11, 55, 12, 60. And then it will continuously go like that. So then as long as it's not on the, right in the middle of the number or it's not showing to the dot, it will not be um counted by 5. If, 
And what I mean, it will not be counted by five. You can't say this is um six forty five just because it's kind of touching the nine. It must be exactly on this dot for you to be able to say, all right, so it's six forty five. So then, like I said, you can kind of guess um that right now it would be like six um forty four for me um for right here. You'd be able to say, all right, this is 644, super close to the 9, one more tick, and then it is 645. That's how you can say it, but um, you can also say, all right, so super close and it's past 8, so it's not, so you can't say it's um, 642 because it's past the 8 and it's very close to the 9. So that's how you're mostly going to read time. So right now, how it's not pointing to the... Like how it's not pointing to the dot just yet, but very close. Um, let me just say this that also, like I said, all you have to do is kind of guess if when it's in between and you don't have the tick marks. So, right now, it just turned 6 45 here, so then that would be the time. So, that's the main, that's most of the video. Um, like I said, analog clocks is something very good to know how to read because, like I said, let's say you're in a house or somewhere that you only have an analog clock or you left your phone somewhere or your tablet or your laptop or something and you have an analog clock, you'd be able to tell it. A lot of people have watches, regular um watches, but they can't really tell what the time is because they can't read an analog clock or a clock with hands. They can only tell digital time. And I'm not saying you should be ashamed or anything. I'm just saying not too much people can do it. And I know people can, but not everybody knows how to tell time off of a analog clock. I hope you guys learned something, to, learned something today. Please do not forget to like and also subscribe. This is when you're first time watching any of my videos. Also tap the notification bell if... You got if this one your first time, so you guys can stay posted and know when I post my videos. Mm -hmm. Also, comment down below if you have any questions or if you want me to do any certain type of math video. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.